JR, without any further ado, how about we just jump right into this? I'm calling them the U of Dumb. Is Ward Manuel going to be fired? This is going to be wild, guys. This is just some stuff coming down the pike. There's a bunch of rumors. I think those rumors are going to be true, and we're going to hear a lot of things coming up here in the first few weeks. JR, why don't you tell us what's happening up there in that whore known as Ann Arbor? Well, first off, do I sound okay? I didn't get to come in here and uh, make myself sound good. I think you might want to bring your volume up just a smidgen. But other than that? that, other than that, you yeah, sound great. Go for okay. it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, uh, essentially, what we have going on here is what was it? Thursday night, Friday night, Buckeye Scoop on their podcast. They had this big reveal. Nevada Buck was telling everybody about uh, all this stuff going on in Michigan, and and you know, it, it's one of those situations where like, yes, some of it we celebrate because they're finally caught for doing the things that you know we know they're doing. Uh, but then there's also some of it too that's like. If it happened to any place, it's it's just sad because of the people that are involved. So by no means do we, you know, praise that, but we also hate the other universities. So we're going to talk about it, right? I mean, that's just how it goes. So uh, basically the sign stealing stuff, everything like that. And here's the deal, guys. I know I wasn't going to go off on this too much or whatever, not go off, but talk about this too much or whatever. But the NCAA has nothing to do with punishing NIL right now. So who do you think their main focus on trying to punish right now is? The only people who weren't cheating with NIL were cheating another way that they actually can go take care of because they have no power with NIL at all right now. Until this Tennessee, Virginia stuff is solved, they have no power. However, that was not the case with Michigan. Michigan was not cheating with NIL. It was on-field, advanced scouting, technology cheating that happened, and they know what happened too. So that is where they're going to be putting all of their focus right now is on making those, you know, those, those people up north pay for what they did because at the end of the day, they're mad and they want to take it out on somebody. And it just so happens to be the people that we dislike the most, which, hey, works for us. But there's other things going on that they believe are going to lead to Ward Manuel's fire in issues of, I don't remember the exact uh, the, the exact description of everything, but I think in hockey it was issues of possible rape and sexual yes. assault going on there, which yep. up in Michigan is a really big deal, guys. I know hockey's not a big deal at Ohio State, and, you know, I, I think people like hockey at Ohio State, but it's not the dynasty tradition of the school. Right now up in Michigan, they, they consider their hockey program in very high esteem, and they very much so put a lot of effort into them. I, women's hockey is better for us than men's hockey, but that's kind of their big thing right now is is hockey. So that's a big issue. And on top of that, all this Juwan Howard stuff, not only with him struggling on the court. I mean, they just got waxed today by Purdue. The, the score makes it closer than it was, but it was never close. It was it was a bad game to watch. Purdue played a terrible game and still took care of Michigan, no problem. But possible issues of sexual harassment, the issues of Juwan Howard uh, behind the scenes. It wasn't just the one incident with the strength coach that we heard about where he possibly hit or threw a punch or something like that. But just basically this entire athletic program is in complete disarray. Uh, cheating going on that nobody cares about. Sexual assault, rape allegations. I mean, all of these different things going on. And Ward Manuel did nothing to fix it. Ward Manuel did nothing. He swept it under the rug. Didn't want to talk about it. Didn't want to do anything about it. Never brought it to anyone anywhere. And guys, if you thought that stuff we have seen in the past is bad, if all of this comes true and the allegations are true that Ward Manuel was doing nothing about it, this is worse than Penn State. This is yeah. worse than Penn State if this stuff comes to be true and if Ward Manuel was doing absolutely nothing about it. Not only will Ward Manuel be fired, but he will be looked down upon by all of college athletics. The Michigan program would be looked down upon and all of college athletics, rightfully so, if they have all of this stuff going on and have nothing and, and have been doing nothing about it. Did I miss anything, guys? You guys have anything to add? Well, let me tell you, JR, you, you know, you also uh... – you did forget to mention the uh, the computer crimes, which are still under investigation by yes, the, FBI. the FBI. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you mentioned Ward Manuel being fired and the program being looked down upon. Uh, if he's sweeping stuff under the rug, especially sexual abuse things, 
that's a direct violation of the Clery Act. He could be looking at criminal charges. Yes. I mean, this isn't just a, a matter of sport. This is there, there is a complete lack of institutional control at this university. And these allegations that are coming out, if they all are true, um, you know, you, you find it hard to believe that they would impose a sanction as serious as the death penalty on a university uh, like Michigan that's a blue blood. But there's going to be serious consequence um, for what happens here. And, you know, and it's not just the stuff in the athletic department. Chaos has broken out on the university itself. I mean, you look a couple of days ago, you had students storming the administration building uh, there because of uh, issues with hazing on campus. I mean, this from top to bottom, this university right now is a mess. It's no wonder I mean, Jim Harbaugh wanted out. <laughs> well, yeah, you look, it's not just Harbaugh. It's, it's Harbaugh. It's Menner. Uh, ben Herbert, Mike Elston, uh, the D-line coach, uh, Clinkscale, the D-backs coach, they all bailed. Jay Harbaugh ran off to Seattle, uh, you know, to be the special teams coordinator. Then you got you got 10 players in the transfer portal, and uh, I don't know how accurate it is, but I'm even hearing rumors that, you know, one of the top returning guys in Colston Loveland may be considering testing the waters of the transfer portal. I mean, this is uh, this is just chaos up there. And the whole time, the whole time, those fans up there are just burying their heads in the sand. They are talking about Caleb Downs is going to transfer. They're talking about, oh, look at the pictures of our our coach holding out our coach, right? The guy that just screwed him over in every way possible, right? All this, look at all these pictures of him holding the trophy up, and it's like, Guys, you can be as happy as you want about those things, but none of that is going to last because uh, you have the most corrupt athletic program in all of and, college and, athletics right now on your hands. And what you were saying, JR, is 100% true that, you know, if this comes out, this is going to be worse than Penn State. And in addition to that, the, the NCAA, as you mentioned, is really toothless as it comes to NIL. They're going to look to take out their anger on someone. They got a whole lot of anger they could take out here. Again, I reiterate, I they may want to celebrate that title why they have it. I agree. While they're taking their victory lap, because that's what you see on social media, them taking their victory lap, JR, it's almost like they don't realize that while they do this, everything is falling apart around them. And yeah, they're oblivious. It it just to me it, it 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 exemplifies on a whole the attitude that this athletic department, this university, and the fan base has in general. There, we're better than you. We we think we're better than you. They believe they know they're better than you, and because of that attitude. They are above all anything. They're above getting in trouble. They're they're above the scandals. They're above all of these things. <laughs> and it's like, it's just ignorance. It's flat out ignorance in what's going on. You would think a fan like us three, if this was happening right now in the Ohio State Athletic Department, I just did a video where I just basically... Uh, screamed and yelled that Gene Smith needs to owe our entire fan base and Steve Hellwagon an apology for what he's done. And then you look at what they're doing up there and they're taking victory laps, man. It's completely unbelievable, the blindness in this and that entire fan base and that athletic department in general, in my opinion, JR, your thoughts. No, I... I totally agree. I totally agree. And, and what we're seeing here <clears throat> is... I mean, I'm trying to like find some kind of metaphor for it. Some kind of like, this is what you see in this situation. When in reality, the only thing I can think of is like, if there was somebody who 
like they're dating somebody else and they are just out there telling everybody else about how amazing this person they're dating is. And everybody knows that this person is cheating on them like nobody's business, is bad mouthing them behind their back. Like they are doing everything possible to mess with them. And let's not forget too, guys. All right. This is something that I've not even brought up on social media or anything like that yet. But this is the program that four or five years ago was like, we're all about academics. All right. That's what we stand for. We're a college first student athlete. You know, we're going to have these great students and, and all these academics guys. Did you see the Mozzie Smith, uh, the, the, the locker or whatever that he sold the storage unit that was sold. That was his. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Mozzie Smith, two time academic player there. All right. Means he had really good academics at Michigan, which Michigan is apparently, you know, the Harvard of the Midwest. Right. Did you guys see the way he spelled miscellaneous on his box? It was literally M I S S like second line, second line lane L L A N E. And then E U S the next line after that. I mean, they had like three lines of miss lane E S like, the dude doesn't even know how to spell miscellaneous, and he's apparently like an all ab- academic player for you at one of the best academic institutions in the Midwest. Guys, I would not be surprised to find out if there's something screwy going on there with the academics as well, that they are allowing players to play who haven't actually had the academic standards to be able to play. We know what's going on with Doug McDaniel on the basketball team, if anybody's figuring that out, because he's only playing home games, but he can't play away games. Tell me how that makes any sense. Like, there, there is nothing that I – like, if, if you came to me tomorrow and said that none of them are actually going to class and all of them are actually just 29-year-olds, I'd believe you. Because there's nothing that anybody could tell me, like a conspiracy theory about Michigan right now, that I wouldn't say, you know, it's possible. I'm not saying I am completely believe you, but it's possible. Because the whole program is just a complete and utter disaster. Donald Hoffer says it's just pure arrogance from the fans, the athletic department, and the university as a whole. I guess being a Michigan man does not hold the same weight as it used to. Eric Osbeck, scum equals SMU, question mark. Um, what, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> Ward Manuel should be fired here and should immediately step down from his position in the college football playoff committee as the, as the chair. Um, why, again, why he was even given that opportunity to begin with is beyond my understanding. Um, but he's fired, right, Chris? Like, he has to be fired. He has to be. Why are we even considering giving the guy a chance to step down? He runs the dirtiest program in the country. Why in the world would you let him have the opportunity to step down? Kick him out the door. I mean, throw him out and you don't let the door and hit you where the good Lord splits you, man. Bye. I do believe Get- the Michigan fans, though, would actually like to see that because a lot of them don't like him. From, take that for what well, it's worth. Well, you know but, what? And yeah, it gives but, them another reason to, to be martyrs. You know, that's, you know, play, play the sympathy card. Play the, oh, everybody's against us card. You know, and, and then you mentioned Mozzie Smith, and, and it, it may it just popped up in my head, uh, JR. The fact that this is a kid who probably should, or a guy who probably shouldn't have even been playing to begin with, you know, considering he had a weapons charge, what, uh, last year. I mean, and you saw that huge gun safe in the storage in the, unit yeah. too, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> that mean, doesn't help at all. No, <laughs> zero self awareness. But, but but thanks to the um, the the court in Michigan, he ended up with probation on what should have been a felony gun charge. You know, they they barred the whole state's corrupt. The, yeah, the whole state is corrupt. It is. It's it's pathetic. I think maybe the Ohio militia should just go finish the job that we started all those years ago, when we fought over the mommy area in Toledo. I'm just gonna take just go take care of business here. Eric Osbeck, what is the media from there saying? Well, first off, Eric, oh. the media in Michigan is bought and paid for by the university. That is the most wishy washy yes sir media in all of college sports. All of college sports. They literally 
will take whatever the athletic department feeds them or what someone in the athletic department wants them to wants them to write as far as far as a narrative and that's what they will write remember the stuff about ryan day and his so-called brother-in-law from the fbi who started that all started with michigan media yeah the well, media with members zach smith yeah, yeah they took zach's yeah. fake story and ran <laughs> with it but yes like they will they will do whatever whatever the athletic department wants them to write they will do funny how gene smith cries about Steve Hellwagon supposedly creating a narrative that he doesn't like, yet in Michigan, all the narratives are about how great Michigan is and about how corrupt Ohio State is when it's the exact opposite. That They are completely corrupt. Yes, JR. Well, you guys know the story behind Sam Webb, right? Like everything that goes on there. Inform everybody. It's a long, long story. But basically, so Sam Webb, he is the like main twenty four seven insider for uh, whatever that Michigan site is called. I think it's like Michigan Zone or something like that. Uh, but anyway, so his wife works in the administration's office at Michigan. Okay, obviously because Michigan is a you know public university or what, like all of their salaries, everything like that. You can look all of that stuff up. Like even uh, like secretary administrative administration like office work people you can look all that stuff up um do you want to know who the highest paid uh, administration staff person is in the michigan administration department the wife the wife sam webb's wife by tens of thousands of dollars over other people and the crazy thing is 11 warriors put something like this out i think it was them but they had a right 11 warriors had a writer who was keeping track of this because he was going on and on about how, you know, scam web, all this stuff, everything. And he was talking about how, uh, just one year, all of a sudden Sam Webb wrote a bad piece about Michigan. Yeah. I forget exactly what it was, but this was like back in like 2017, 2018, something like that. But he wrote a bad piece about Michigan and just so happened. She lost tens of thousands of dollars on her paycheck that year just got it cut nobody else's was cut just her got her paycheck cut tens of thousands of dollars or a salary cut tens of thousands of dollars that year sam webb comes back writes really nice fluff pieces about michigan provides all this like insider stuff this year guess what she gets back to up to where she was before <laughs> so not only do they tell these media members hey you have to do this you know, because we say so, but they've literally got guys like Sam Webb. And at a certain point, I kind of feel bad for Sam Webb. Like uh, they are threatening her salary, th- tens of thousands of dollars on whether or not he writes what they want him to write. That's not media guys. That is fake news. And I'm not trying to get political about it, but that is like the example of like, you can't trust the news source because it's just, it's whatever Michigan wants out there. Because it's what makes them look better. Yeah, Skim well, Web you know, Skim Web Skim Web works for Two Four Seven Sports uh, for Michigan, which is called the Michigan Insider. Okay. So I wanted to just clarify that for everybody. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Like a good journalist would report that instead of hiding that. A good journalist would report that, and then you know, and then then the national media picks up on that, and all the eyeballs go on there. But at the end of the day, he's a fan. And, and so, uh, you know, let's not forget about the pedophile on staff either when they didn't report any of that. Exactly. And the reasoning, we didn't think it meant anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, did you have something else? I'm just trying to think, I'm just trying to think how much money his wife's going to lose this year because he's going to have a hard time spending any positive out of what comes up this season. Let me tell you, you don't have any coaches. You don't have any players left. Uh, you, you know, I think the, the over under that Vegas has him was what? Nine and a half this year. I'll tell you, yep. I, I, I'm going to, I'm just going to slam that under given everything that's going on. I'm going to slam the under. They do not have an easy schedule. No, yeah. no. They, they play got, what, Texas. They got, Oregon, they got SC, Texas, USC. Us. I mean, it's, it's not an easy schedule. So Washington, I mean, they're not going to be any good, but 
Still, they were in the national championship last year. Washington made yeah. the only team that's lost more than Michigan. 